All right, all right, all right. What's up, buddies? What's up, what's up, everybody? Leg day absolutely pooping on my soul. Hopefully you guys are well. We got what? Champions League football today. We got, obviously, the poor man road to glory grind today. I'm not entirely sure what even the team of the week is looking like. I can guarantee you there's going to be no Leeds players in it. <laughs> I wanted to discuss a little bit more the Evos because a lot of people ask me now, okay, so you're going to put Alonzo into the Evo, that new Evo. I actually think I made a mistake with Berbatov. First of all, I put the baby Berbatov into the Evo because I thought he'd look awesome. Then I packed the 93 Berbatov, which made that just a complete waste. And also, I just think I should wait it out. I know there's only a couple more days anyways of uh, of this event, but there's no rush, right? As, as far as, well, actually, as far as I can remember, uh, the Evo has an extended period of time before it expires, does it not? I got 20 days, man. 20 days, that seems like a very long time. Uh, in terms of SBCs being almost completed, we're working on Rivals Champs Grind to finish off Byram. Archie the King is fully done, which I'm excited about. We finally get to take that 87 rated Centurion Archie has been 87 rated and a Centurion card since October. So we finally got Archie Gray upgraded to an 88 rated card. He's part of the Gullet Gang. Today we're gonna focus on Byram. I mean, we, we've got rivals or champs to play so we're definitely going to get that sorted out tomorrow as you guys remember is my day off now thursdays are my day off so the youtube guys you're not going to see the live recording of an epi because i won't be live you're not going to get an edited video i'm just taking the day off i'm going to go offline i got a lot of stuff uh, to get done one of which is to go to costco such a dad but i'm actually kind of excited about it gonna see what type of uh steaks they've got and what type of uh uh well well priced good priced meats they've got in bulk i'm gonna buy a full cow for 35 cents i have no idea where i would store it but that is the game plan again just do full circle of dad uh i think i'm gonna go to home depot i think i'm done fighting with my neighbor and or having someone else tend to my yard i am going to tend to my yard like the true canadian alpha dad and i'm gonna have a summer war with my neighbor to see who has the better grass this year and i'm gonna try and decide what type of lawnmower and weed whacker to buy? Now, if you dare say, hey, Nick, don't you mean strimmer? I'm going to put you in the gulag in the Twitch chat. So I don't know. You guys, you guys let me know. I mean, can I get a freaking lawnmower from Costco? Maybe I'll do that. A lawnmower and weed whacker from Costco. That is going to be uh, the plan for tomorrow. And then I also think I'm going to go to two different places. I'm going to go to uh, Gold's Gym again and just see what that looks like because I need to make a decision. Do I reno my whole basement into like the gym that I want, even though this is probably not the house we're going to be in forever? Or do I just get a go back like I'm back in college again and get a gym membership and just, I don't know, can you do a short term gym membership? The whole gym thing, man, I, 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 there's many things I don't like about it, but there's a lot of things I do like about it, obviously. And I'm sure you could probably understand what things I like and what things I absolutely will not like of being back in a gym with a bunch of other degenerates, especially if people have cameras filming themselves. I'm going to lose my mind. <sighs> and relax. So let's get the day started. A lot of waffling going on, but um, we got everything kind of clued in where we want to be. I told, I told you guys this story, but I, that's one thing that fundamentally changed me, man. I got together with one of my old high school football buddies. I started, like, you know, we started laughing. He started, he looked at my hands like, man, you got, like, sausages. He's Italian. So you got sausage hands, man. Holy moly, your hands look like sausages. Your, 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 wedding, your wedding ring looks like it's strangled. It still took me a solid three years to change my ways. I, it still took me, after he roasted me for that, I was still super chunky for another three years until 2021-ish, right? I, the height of COVID and uh, ordering out food and all that stuff. But nevertheless, that, that roast stuck in my head. Still to this day, it's been six years, man. Six years he made fun of my fat fingers <laughs> and it offended me so much. Anyways! We've cleared out the uh, the golds for another set of peepees, so I don't know, man. I don't know if I can visibly, visibly is not the word. I don't know if I can physically deal with good pack pulls today because I'm happy, I'm in a great mood, and we all know good pack pulls means gameplay, which means bad mood, which means grouchy 2018. Oh, Bernardo Gilva. I har we hardly knew ye. This has got to be the worst set of peepees I've ever seen. On, honestly, we've had what three walkouts, maybe? That's crazy. All right, well, I, I... huh? Let's just. What is happening right now?
Why do you think your viewers have fallen, been following for nine years or so, still love it? I mean, for a multitude of reasons. I don't think I'm the best content creator out there. Uh, there's hundreds of other FIFA content creators for people to watch. So not only am I not the best content creator out there anymore, but what I used to do back in the day that got people excited, thousands of streamers do now, right? Poor Man Road to Glory, Bronze Pack Method, Building a Club for Free, all of these things that were, I wouldn't say groundbreaking back in 2013, 14, and 15, but it was something that me and a very small amount of people were doing. So I think a lot of my community related with that and love that, whereas now everybody runs a Road to Glory, so you don't have to like and come to me. If you like the content, you can watch Zway do a Road to Glory. You can watch Run the Fun Market do a Road to Glory. You can watch Boras do a Road to Glory. And all of these guys are infinitely better at most other things, right, that, than I do. They're, they're better than me at the game. They're they're more calm. They're happier. They're whatever whatever you want to take, right? I've got lots of negatives. I'm not uh, I'm not pretending like I, I'm uh, the, the, the greatest content creator in the world. So there's a million and one reasons why viewerships drop. I mean, another thing that absolutely murked my channel was two years ago, I fully quit Ultimate Team. For eight months, I fully quit Ultimate Team. I just played Tarkov, a couple of other smaller games because I was so sick of EA in FIFA 22, I fully quit the game. So imagine eight months of my viewership to not see me on the game. Well, eight months, people will find other people to watch, right? So that's life. Don't for one second think uh, I'm upset about it. I'm very happy where I'm at. I'm very grateful where I'm at. It's 6 p.m. right now. Um, I'm excited for content. I mean, there you go. We're, we're at 1,100 viewers. 1,100 human beings are here live right now to watch me review content. So let's not talk about uh, view botting and all that stuff. And let's at least for the next 20 minutes have a look at 6 p.m. content, which I would imagine is on a Wednesday going to be relatively dead. Let's see. Uh, yet another special Foden and Palmer. Not that they don't deserve it. They definitely do deserve it. Look at that Parallelo, though. 89 rated. Wait, are you telling me now the women's players don't have dynamic images this week? Why? Anyways, we got opened a door with a double play style, four star, four star. All we look for in team of the weeks now is that a player has a dynamic image, maybe with some cool stats that you can then Evo if he's a player from your favorite nation or team, right? You just want to see some cool dynamic images that, that can be Evoed further i.e. as cool as this card looks it's supremely disappointing that she has no dynamic image foden pretty cool card but again four star three star is a bit silly anyways foden got a dope dynamic image so i do like that um palmer absolutely deserves this in form of course this isn't this is a card didn't he get a hat trick of pens or didn't he get two pens in this game my man gets an inform for cooking man united with icy cold composure on pens and they give him 66 pens and 84 composure, dude. And 78 free kick accuracy. I don't even know why I'm taking so much time on these Team of the Weeks, man. They're all meaningless and garbage. Reggaeon getting a Brentford uh, inform is kind of sick, though. Fair play to him. I went down a rabbit hole. I'm kind of a low-key Roma fan now. I went down a rabbit hole with Roma fans and then also their, their hate for Lazio and whatever. And dude, after this game... The things that the Roma players were doing, the, the, the absolute cookage that uh, Dybala did to that stupid, crusty the clown looking moron. That guy that used to play for Arsenal. I hate him so much. Genduzzi is the biggest just I've ever seen. I hate that guy. Anyways, um, you know, Dybala just absolutely cooking his ass. I mean, do they not know what psychos are populated in Italian ultras? Was that, Man was that Mancini doing that? The, fla the flag? That's pretty, uh, dude, the, 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 the fact that he did that is gangster, man. Two memes from one player. Nep with, I'm Emmerich. And uh, me, of course, screaming that Laporte caught up to my Aubameyang, 99 paced Aubameyang while I was running in on net. Bro, what year was that? The, the Laporte meme lives on forever. I don't even remember what year that was. That had to be like FIFA 18. Uh, Majeki don't care. Oh, Pulisic. I mean, it's still not as good as his other cards. But once again, if you're not lucky enough to have packed his other cards and you run a first owner account, four star, four star, left footed. This this guy looks like the Mozambique Messi, bro. I just gave Sway a title for his episodia this week. The Mozambique Messi. Hey, man, sometimes I'm kind of really sick with it. Nice composure. Definitely doesn't have the composure or reactions of Leo Messi or the long shots of Leo Messi. But nevertheless, I'm sure he could be a fun card to use. How could Feyenoord not get themselves a uh, a special? This dude, dude, another dude, I'm giving you guys football culture today for the last week of football. I feel like uh, old school Cup of 90. Did you guys see the videos of this dude cooking Ajax? Okay? Cooking Ajax. He then walked home, man. 
My dude just walked home in the middle of like, fa fans just caught him like just strolling home after cooking Ajax. He freaking just walked home after the game, bro. How the balls of steel he has, by the way, to do that. Ajax, man. What the hell is going on with that club, man? All right. Team of the week, man. Sorry we spent so much time on it, but we did have a lot of things, a lot of footballing culture uh, to talk about there. Objectives on a Wednesday. The only happy part I have of today is we haven't packed anyone good yet, so I don't have to play gameplay. Okay, no objectives. Well, then we're hoping there's going to be some sort of SBCs. Did I check Evos? Oh, damn, dude. I didn't even check Evos. Wait, my day off is tomorrow, right? Uh, You know what, guys? I think we should pick our Silky Center half today because I'm going to forget otherwise. Let's do that. So, to go alongside another retiring legend, Ailing's no longer at the club, so, I mean, to me, he's essentially retired, but an absolute legend of the club, we're going to give uh, Bill his next upgrade. Wild saying you don't want to pack anything good so you don't have to play gameplay. I kind of do it as a meme, though. It's more of a meme, brother. I'm a, I'm actually perfectly happy to play gameplay. I, I do enjoy gameplay. I It's just when I lose, I get really sad and mad and toxic and... The faults of the game come out even more when I'm losing because I'm egotistical and think I should win every game. Oh. Should we end the epi with this? Yes, we should. We got a refresh on the... Oh, today's Cruyff Day. That's been there? No, it just refreshed today. Sweet. Okay, we'll do that today then. So that'll be, that'll be the grind for today. Honestly, if the exchange doesn't come back, I'll have a tough time playing this game and having fun. Wow, a non-Premier League SBC for the first time in what feels like about seven days. Why is it the U.S. players all get these specials? Can we just randomly throw in some Canadians, please? My Canadian national team is freaking suffering. I have no center backs. I mean, that is a very good right back. With an, with an, with, not an engine, sorry. With an anchor, 99 long shots. Now, this is a cool card. Wait, how, how overpriced are we talking? I don't know, dude. With how easy this game is to grind, maybe it's overpriced. But if you're if you're a USA fan, or or I mean, I don't know, I don't know. I probably have a couple of uh, Gladback fans that watch the watch my content. If you're a Gladback fan, this is a sick card. All right, here is the four. Uh, sorry, the three eighty four by sevens that we crafted today. Let's see where this takes us. Gostas, Amen. thank you for the eighty six. Love the name as always, Gary. Thank you for the sixty two. Okay, double walkout. Come on, we get an icon in behind. Give me a DDA Drogba. I'd love a DDA Drogba. I'd love to test out a DJ Drogba in Weekend League. Okay, two awful 86s is not a good start. Come on. Oh! No way! Are you sh- All day grinding! All day grinding to get that? Are you joking? Oh my god! <laughs> Yo! You know what's crazy is I think I'm not even the first person to pack this guy out of the boys. I think Zwei packed him before me. Oh my god. I'm going to let you guys marinate on that because I got to drain the uh, fire hose. Give me a second. Woo! Thanks for the sub! <laughs> I mean, for the life of me. For the life of me, I would have not have expected to pack that insane of a Galasso icon. It's funny how these epis go, boys. It's funny how these epis go. Either all epi long, I'm packing crazy good pull after crazy good pull after crazy good pull, or I'll go all epi and pack nothing, and on my one of my last packs, I pack a freaking 800k kaka. That actually sh uh, shocking to me that he's only 800k, but in this market, 800k in previous years would have been about 4 million. Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying is his finishing isn't great, so I kind of want to use him similarly to how he played for AC Milan. All right, well... For those of you guys that wanted gameplay, I might even have to play two games with this Kaka. Maybe the balance and agility for someone as tall as him might make him feel not great, but we'll see. And he is 6'1". It's not like he's 6'3 or 6'4". That's the Orlando Kaka. Ah, oh, for God's sake! Sue, what are your expectations from this? Thanks, guy. Well, being in Damn. Am I allowed to be mad yet, guys, or no? That literally went to no one, by the way. I mean, I saw the keeper off his line. I think if, if anyone's able to take that crazy shot, it's Eric Cantona. Unfortunately, it didn't work, but that would have been sick. Jonathan David. 
Bro, great timed low shot and he missed it. I gotta take him off. I gotta take him off. I gotta take. I got. He's gotta go. He's gotta go. He's gotta go. He's gotta go. You're not allowed to stay on the field when you do that. Nope. Oh, the queen comes on and immediately scores. <clears throat> I mean, my brother, my brother in Christ. I'm sorry that you got mad there and rage charged your keeper, but like, I don't, what do you want, bro? This game did everything to let you win this, and you still bottled it. Positioned here on it's the just awful. Entry, and sitting next to me, wow. ready to give you all the analysis. Amazing. Is oh my God! That's why I still play this game. The L2 circle with Messi was outrageous. Okay. Look, and he's gonna off run off celebrating like he did something special. <laughs> I mean, I literally shot first time because the keeper was out of position. Oh no, I'm trying to be too fancy at the end of the game. That would have been gorgeous, but now I'm going to get countered and he'll probably score at the end. No, that's poor games. That's poor game management from me. That's poor game management. Do you understand how sick that goal would have been with Leo Messi though? Yeah, I've probably conceded here. Yep. Yep. Bro, you can predict this horrific game before anything even happens. Hey, you stream sniping nonce. Get wrecked. You absolute loser. Turn off your console. Go to school, bro. Go to your skipped chemistry 101, bro. Sort your life out. Let's see what we can get. We've already hit a crazy Kaka. Uh, I would say even in bad gameplay, Kaka felt really good. That second game, it was very heavy and awful. So like I said, everybody felt bad. Um, Only Schneider was really... Uh, Schne and you know what? Messi was doing all right too. I mean, Messi won us the damn game, didn't he? Okay, hey, just no winter wildcard, please. Oh my god, it's not a winter wildcard. Wait, no, it's not. Oh, I already have Smith. That's a good pull, but I already have her. Oh my god, I know that look. That's Thunderstruck. Guys, guys, I am going to shit a brick if this says Dutch. Please, for the first time ever. No! Wait, Thunderstruck? No, dude. That's... I'm so disappointed. Freaking Soul Campbell, man. Oh, my God. Come on. Another Thunderstruck, please. Nope. Not Thunderstruck. It's... I hate this game. Oh. Okay, hold on a second. That's not bad at all. Another goaded striker. How does someone of his talents have 82 shooting? Dude, the, the best things about Butchagueno were his shooting and the tech play style. But, I, I mean, I guess Winter Wild Cards was that, wasn't it? Yeah, you're right. It basically repositions someone, doesn't it? But again, if they're going to do that, wouldn't they have made his shot power and long shots better than his finishing and attack positioning? It's like they made him a winger, but then forgot to adjust the attack positioning and finishing. None of these mean anything to me, man. I, I'll go with I'll go with Butcher Gueno maybe to use him at some point. I love you guys. Thank you for watching. Um, I'm taking a day off tomorrow, but we'll see you on Friday. Kind of excited for Friday. We have no idea what to expect, so uh, I'll build up a good 25 or 50 player picks for whatever's going to be available Friday. I'm going to do a pretty heavy grind as well uh, offline from now till 
Friday. I know it's my day off, but I'll, I'll take a couple hours during my time off, the kids at school or whatever, and I'll do a grind so that we have a lot of packs. We'll do like League SBCs. We'll get 50 player picks. I'm going to rinse whatever I can into the Forex so we have a bunch more packs. And uh, maybe we'll even get rolling on, um, on finishing off Byram. Maybe even start stage one of of Mr. Ailing. I think that'll be uh, that'll be the target because I mean, w even when we're done those, we still have the radio uh, 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 radioactive precision, which I think I'm going to give to Ilya Grev if I can. Uh, from the back to front, I don't know who I'm going to give that to, and then obviously this one, I also don't really know who I'm going to give it to. But we have a lot of stuff to do from now until Friday. We'll see you guys then. Thank you so much for watching and supporting what we do here on this channel. I love you, and we'll catch you on the flip side. Peace.